Hey Dolphins, fans, John Kinjemi here. On today's Dolphin Daily, we'll recap yesterday's dramatic finish as the Dolphins got their first win of the season. Highlights and much more coming to you right here on Dolphins Daily. Hey, keep running, keep running. Your Miami Dolphins pulled off a 30-24 win in overtime against the Cleveland Browns, which represents the first win for head coach Adam Gase at Hard Rock Stadium. With the game tied at 24, the Browns forced a turnover with 20 seconds remaining in the fourth, putting themselves in good field position. Cleveland had a chance to win as time expired, but the 46-yard field goal was no good. In overtime, the Dolphins took control on their second possession when quarterback Ryan Tannehill found a wide-open Jarvis Landry for a big 32-yard gain to help set up the game-winning play. On the next snap, running back Jay Ajayi took a handoff and ran 11 yards untouched into the end zone to close out the victory. An exciting moment for the second year back. Here's what he had to say after the game about getting his big opportunity. When it came down to that last drive and I got my number called, you know, it was about being consistent, holding on to the football. And then when I got the chance to get in the end zone, it was about making that play. And that's what I was able to do. Offensively, the Dolphins were able to move the ball through the air. Quarterback Ryan Tannehill went 25 of 39 for 319 yards and three touchdowns. One of those big plays resulted in six points when Tannehill found Jarvis Landry for a 42-yard score. Landry had another big performance with seven receptions for 120 yards, giving him back-to-back 100-yard receiving games. Defensively, the Dolphins were led by safety Rashad Jones, who had nine tackles and linebacker Kiko Alonso with six total tackles. The Dolphins' defense also found their way in the backfield, finishing with four sacks on the day. It was an up-and-down performance for the Dolphins, although most importantly, they found a way to win. As we turn the page, it's a short week of preparation as the team must turn their focus to Thursday night's game in Cincinnati. It's important to take care of your body, especially on a short week. And here's Adama Gansu off to a head start. Fans, we would like to take this time to mention the tragic loss of Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez, who passed early yesterday. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Jose and the Miami Marlins organization. 